Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome one more time to DeFi Daily. Today I bring you a short but very useful video that is going to teach you how to bridge your funds from Polygon to Phantom, or in easy words, how to send your tokens from Polygon to Phantom. And to do this, we're going to use two of the systems that uh, to me are the most easy and the cheapest. The first one is Seabridge and the second one is Cross Pollinate or X Pollinate. Now, uh, this is going to be very useful because I'm also going to teach you how to set up your Phantom wallet in MetaMask. And with this, you're going to be ready to start yield farming in the Phantom ecosystem. Make sure you check my video on Phantom yield farming because it's going to give you a very good strategy to start generating compound interest. I will make sure to leave the link to that video in the description of this one. Okay, so before sending tokens, we need to set up the Phantom blockchain in our MetaMask wallet. You click on your account, then click on settings, go to networks, add network, and here you're going to put the data for the Phantom um, blockchain. I'm going to leave all these data in the description of the video. Network name is Phantom Opera, the RPC, you will be able to copy paste it. The chain ID is 250 and the currency symbol put FTM. Now guys, uh, once it has been set up, you're going to be able to see it in the drop down menu. Uh, you can select Phantom and once it charges, you're going to be able to see your Phantom tokens in your MetaMask wallet. With this, we've completed the setup process in MetaMask and we will go to the next section of the video. So let's start with Seabridge. As mentioned before, Seabridge is a great project that allows us to bridge our funds or tokens from one blockchain to another, or in easy words, send our tokens from one blockchain to another. In this case, we're going to select the source change polygon and the destination chain is going to be Phantom. But as you can see, you could do this from Binance to Polygon, from Polygon to you know, Ethereum and so on. For this example, I'm going to use five USDCs. I'm going to send five USDCs from Polygon to Phantom. We're going to be receiving 4.89. There's a small fee of 10 cents, which I think it is good. You're going to click the transfer button. Here we're going to see the summary of the transaction. Make sure that you double check it. You confirm the transaction and then you also approve the transaction on your MetaMask. Once the transaction is sent in the blockchain, you will see this message on the top right corner. And if you click on the history button, you will see that your transaction has been submitted and is pending. This menu also allows you to see the historic of your transactions. In my case, I have three transactions that I've done using Breach. And you can also check the details of the submitted transaction. What is the relay node? What is the fee? And what is the status? After just a couple minutes, you're going to get the button in blue that says release funds. You're going to click on it. With this, we're going to release the funds into our Phantom wallet. You will confirm the transaction in MetaMask. And then the system by itself will go through a couple of status until the funds are going to be available in your wallet. So as you can see, we go through a couple of status. Just wait. And the transaction will get automatically confirmed. Now, guys, open your MetaMask wallet. You will see that in your Matic assets, your USDCs have been subtracted. If you select the Phantom network, you will be able to see that the US dollars are now there. In this case, we were sending about $5. You can see they are now on our Phantom wallet. With this, we've completed the process for eBridge. I hope you guys understood it. If you have any question, let me know. And now we will do it with Xpollinate. Before we get into the details, if you guys are liking the video, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell button, make sure you like the video. This is going to be very helpful for the channel. And if you've learned something new again, please share this with your friends. As I mentioned, Xpollinate version 2 is down. They are experiencing some issues. So in this uh, example, I'm going to show you how to do it with the version 1, but it's very, very similar and it's very easy. So you're going to have to click on the top right corner for the version 1. You get into this menu and you're going to choose to send from Matic to Phantom. In this case, we're going to choose USDC, but you can also send DAI and USDT. It is very important that in the received address, you make sure that it is your address 
of MetaMask. So just copy paste it or just double check that is the right address. And once you have confirmed this, you're going to click on the swap button and the process will start. You will have to confirm the transaction on MetaMask as always. Once a transaction is confirmed by the blockchain, you're going to be able to decide the amount to send. In this case, we're going to do a test sending five USDCs. As you can see, in Expolinate, the fees are lower than in eBridge. So that's why I usually uh, use Expolinate. We will click on confirm and we will confirm the transaction on our MetaMask. Once the transaction is completed, it will go through different stages. Make sure you keep this window open, be patient. This will take a couple minutes, but at the end you will get the success confirmation message. And with this, the transaction has been approved. To finalize, we're gonna make sure that the tokens are actually on our Phantom MetaMask wallet. We're gonna choose the Phantom network from the drop list menu. In this case, we sent about $10 minus the fees and you can see that the money is now in our wallet. And that's all for today, guys. Please make sure that you leave a comment, leave any question that you have and I'll take time to review it. And if you learn something new, make sure you subscribe to the channel. With these guys, thank you very much and see you next time on DeFi Daily. Bye-bye.